Hey folks, I wanted to demonstrate Fall Classic Baseball on the computer with the Excel Helper. Um, the, uh, some people like to play on the computer and I want to show how to set up a game and make some game changes uh, as well. Uh, the first thing I do is bring up my next game on the schedule. I've been going through the 1964 National League schedule uh, I'm at, in early May now. Here's the standing so far. But uh, bring up the next game on the schedule. This is in Stratomatic Baseball, by the way. I use their manual entry mode for scoring my games. I bring up the next game, which happens to be the Phillies and Braves uh, in, in Milwaukee. I bring up the game, and the game screen comes up, and I have my lineups here. To bring up uh, Fall Classic Baseball, I uh, bring up the 1964 files. has all the teams in there. I want to bring up my helper to get the game set up. The first thing I have to do is actually let me close that. The first thing I have to do is bring up the dice mode, which is what I just closed out of. Uh, you can see the dice roll results changing there. Um, that has to be brought up first in order to use the helper. Once it's brought up, I just minimize it. Then to play uh, both teams on the single helper, each team has their own helper, but I want to play the game with both teams in the same helper. So I bring up the, after I bring up the dice at the bottom, I bring up the single screen game player uh, helper here. And I get it uh, loaded here. And this is from the last game I played, the Mets and Reds. Um, as you can see, the I can scroll down each batter here. Uh, if your helper is not lined up correctly, if it's like this where the next batter is showing there, and you scroll down, you're going you're not going to get it in very good uh, form there. So you have to do the bottom of the uh, helper to where it's just below row 35 in the helper where it closes off the next batter, as you can see right there. Now I can scroll each batter on the screen as they change. Um, so I've got the helper up. I got to load the next game, the Phillies at the Braves. So what I do is I bring up the Phillies sheet. And this is the roster tab. Um, the pitcher for the uh, for the Phillies is Art Mahaffey in this game. So I'll go to find him under either P1 or P2 usually. And there he is. So what I do is I just highlight his card. I copy. And then I'll paste him in the op pit um, for, um, thing down here. And then I just simply paste him in. Now that uh, now he's the pitcher for the game. Now to set the lineup, I go to roster, and uh, you can see the lineup numbers here. Ray Cup was the last game he batted ninth. He's not pitching this game, so I'm going to put him RP, which means for stands for relief pitcher, and I'll take him out of the pitcher slot. I'll put Art Mahaffey as pitcher, P, and batting ninth. Now the lineup is Taylor second base batting first, that's already in place. Dick Allen, third base, hitting second, that's already in place. Johnny Callison hits third in right field. As you can see, he's already labeled as hitting four, so i got to change that to a three where he's hitting third. West Covington is in the lineup hitting fourth and playing left field. He's in the five slot now, so I'll change that to four. The fifth batter is Tony Gonzalez, center field. Here he is up here, so I'll change him to five, hitting fifth. John Hernstein plays first base, hitting sixth. Seavers played the last game at first, but he's not playing this game, so I'm going to put BE for bench and then delete the first base. Then I bring up Hernstein, put him at first base, and put a six next to his name for batting sixth. Clay Dalrymple, seventh, that's already lined up right. Bobby Wine, eighth, that's already in place right. I've already got the pitcher. So now I just have to sort. So I go down here and I highlight all that. And then I click data, sort, and column A, and it sorts the lineup. Um, one through nine. As you can see in the helper, the batters aren't loaded yet. So I have to change the name of this file now to get them lined up. Now this sounds like a lot of work, but it only takes a minute or so once you kind of get the hang of it. So I'll click Save As, and I'm going to scroll over, and I'm going to erase the 1964 National League Phillies 
and put away for away team. Then I want to replace it. And now I'll minimize that. As you can see, the Phillies are now in place. Taylor, Allen, Callison, Covington, Gonzalez, Ernstein, Dower, and Pawine, and Mahaffey. If I go to the home lineup down here, you can see Art Mahaffey's a pitcher. Um, so now I've got to load the home team, which is the Milwaukee Braves. So I'll go back to here and click, double click on Milwaukee and bring them up. Their pitcher is Hank Fisher. So I'm going to delete or take out Tony Kleininger and put in Hank Fisher as pitcher hitting ninth. Now their lineup uh, has Lee May uh, left field batting first. Uh, here's May. He hit second last game, so I'll move him to one this time. Eddie Matthews hits second and third base, so I'll give him a two. Hank Aaron hits third in right field. He's already in a good slot. Philippe Alou batting fourth center field, so I'll give him a four. Batting fifth, Ed Bailey catching, so I'll give change him from a five, uh, six to a five. Joe Torrey hits sixth at first base. Torrey is already at first base, but he's hitting six, so I'll change him from five to six. Frank Balling, second base, hitting seventh. Dennis Minky, eighth, hitting uh, hitting eighth at shortstop. So now I'm all set. I just got to sort this. Bring up data, sort, and we want column A, and they're sorted now. Um, I've got to put Hank Fisher in the op hit file. Last game was Kleininger, so I'm going to see if I can find Hank Fisher here. Here he is. So I'll just simply highlight his card. Copy, paste. Now I've got to now I've got the pitcher in the lineup set. I've got to change the file name to home team. So I take out the Milwaukee National League 1964, put home in there, replace it, minimize that, bingo, we're set to go. Here's the Braves lineup. May, Matthews, Aaron, Philippe Lou, Bailey, Torrey, Balling, Minky. Fisher, which matches my lineups here. So the first batter of the game would be Tony Taylor leading off. So I would start then uh, start the game. The first thing I do is the warm up tosses. Uh, I roll uh, F9 uh, to get a dice roll here on the screen, and I'm looking at this 20 D D20 roll here, uh, and I'll roll the dice, and it's a 14. Hank Fisher, 14 falls barely within the B range, so he will be a grade B. So I change this to a B, and now his column is highlighted in yellow that he will be for this game. I'll go ahead and do the home lineup. Art Mahaffey, I'm going to roll the D20, and it comes up a 10. That's also in the B range, so that's already set at B, so we're good to go. Then I'm ready to start the game. Tony Taylor would lead off. And I'll roll for him. First roll is a 21, which is a K1 to 4, but the 7 falls outside of that. So it's just a basic out, which is a fly to left field. So then I come over here and score it. Fly ball to left field. Dick Allen would be next, hitting 321 with two homers and four RBIs on the season. So I bring up Allen's card and I roll for him, F9. F9, and that's an 11, which is a single. So Allen has singled with one out. I give him a single. Then the third batter will be Johnny Callison, hitting 310 with four homers, 11 RBIs. I'll roll for him. It's a 55, which is a double. So I'll go down here to see the runner advancement. Double first to home. Uh, the ball is hit to center field, but uh, Allen holds at third. So it's a double with Allen holding at third, runners at second and third. Wes Covington would be next. I roll for him. 23 is a K, so that's a big strikeout for Fisher to keep the runners at second and third. Now with two out, I'll take a two out hit from Gonzalez. And the pitch to Gonzalez is a 45, a blank, which come over here under 45, under Fisher's cards and out, which is a ground ball to second. So that ends the inning. The Phillies threaten but do not score. The Braves will come up next, home. I click on home and away for each uh, team that bats. So since we're home now, 
Uh, Lee May leads off. He's hitting 267 with no homers and six RBIs. Roll for May. We get a 41, which is a blank, which happens to be a walk for Mahaffey, so that's a leadoff walk for the Braves. Eddie Matthews would be next. Matthews, you can see it in 316 on the season, four homers, 13 RBIs. Roll for him. I get a 64 blank. Down here is an out F. That means it's a fly ball to center. Um, we use that for pitchers that hit a lot, uh, cause a lot of fly balls, they have an F. Ground ball pitchers, a lot of times, will have a G there. So we use dice roll uh, cut, uh, result code 8 for that. So uh, on a fly ball uh, to center, we, check, we can check the chart. Runner at first, out. Number eight would be fly out to center, runner holds. All right, and so the next batter would be Hank Aaron. So Matthews flew out. Hank Aaron will be next. And the roll of the dice brings up a 46, which is a ballpark roll. County Stadium in Walk. Hank, Hank's a right-handed batter. So we look under 14, which falls into the pop-out category. So Hank has popped out for the second out. And now Philippe Alou. Philippe Alou would bat next. And his roll is a 45 blank. Over here is a walk. If it is a dice roll, 1 to 14. It happens to be a 14, so barely falls into the category of a walk. So Alou is on with a two-out walk, and Ed Bailey will come up. His roll is a 44, which is a single if the D20 is 1 to 13. Otherwise, it's a walk. 18 is beyond 13, so it falls into the walk category. So Mahaffey has walked three batters here in the first. That'll bring up Torrey with the bases loaded two outs. Torrey's hitting 317 on the year. And a 41 blank is going to be another walk. So a very wild Art Mahaffey here uh, in the first inning. As you can see, his walk totals are four already here in the first. So the Braves have a run on four walks. Frank Pauling would be next. And the roll is a 55 single. So now we the runner at third scores. We have to see if the runner at second scores. It says left field. He holds at third. He can run at risk uh, if we want to. The batter, uh, the arm in left field is average. So it would be a one to three chance of scoring. I'm going to hold him up. So it's a single. Scoring a run. It's a two nothing Braves now. Number eight here in the lineup, Dennis Minky. 43, that's also blank and also a walk. And Mahaffey is in big trouble here. So let's see if we can get the pitcher to get out of it. Hank Fisher, bat 61, that'll be a blank, fall in the out category, ground ball back to the mound, and that will end it. But four, I don't know, five walks uh, and a hit, and the Braves have three runs. Then we we'll go back to the away team batting. Tony Gonzalez was our last batter, so we we'll bring up Hernstein to match who's up now. Now we'll go through the same process. Now let's say I wanted to pinch hit for Hernstein, and I wanted to pinch hit with bring up Phillies. Uh, say Cookie Rojas, who well no, let's do Roy Sievers. Roy Sievers, the other first baseman. Let's say we wanted to pinch hit with Seavers, so I would uh, I would bring uh, him in to bat. So we got Roy Seavers up to bat. I wanted to change. I, now I have to change the uh, batter on the screen here. So what we do is we bring up the Phillies away file, and right now we have Hernstein in there batting sixth first base. What I would do is put B E for him to bench him. Take out first base, put uh, Seavers in, if I can find him here. Where are you, Roy? Seavers, there you are. Now we put first base there, batting six. Now I have to resort to get him in the proper lineup spot. So resort. Now Seavers is up to bat. Okay, so that's how you do a pinch hitter. You do the same process for a pinch runner. Um, now let's say I wanted to change pitchers and remove Hank Fisher. So to do that, I would 
Well, first I'd have to bring in, let's say I'm bringing in uh, uh, Phil and Negro. So put Negro on the game on this, but on the on the helper, I would have to bring up the Braves, which is the home team. Now I go to the roster, and I'm going to remove Hank Fisher, delete that, put him RP, and I bring up Phil Negro, which is, where's Phil Negro? Darn it, I can't find Phil Negro. He must have got deleted somehow. Um, let me change that to Billy Heft. So Billy Heft's in the game. I have to find Negro and get him back on the sheet here. Uh, Billy Heft. And there he is. We put him at pitcher, batting ninth. And after, then I'll quickly resort. And we got him all set. Now I have to put him in the op pit file for Fisher. So find Billy Heft. Here he is. I copy and paste. And now he's in the game there. So Heft against Seavers. So that's how you do um, pinch hitters, pinch runners, and uh, changing pitchers. It's, uh, it sounds like a lot to do, but it's really not. It doesn't take any time. I can play a whole game using the helper in usually 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, if it's a pitcher's duel, it might be even less than 15 minutes. Uh, an extra inning game, of course, is going to push 30 minutes. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. I won't go through the whole game, but uh, this is how you play Fall Classic Baseball and set up a game and make some changes uh, on the game screen, uh, on the helper screen uh, during the game. So I hope that was beneficial to some of you out there. Uh, anyway, I will see you next time.